how does $400 printer stack up against the $1200 one? So Flashforward sent me their new 85X to review. I already shared my first impressions, but this time I wanted to push it a little with performance testing. First, I printed a tolerance test model with increasingly tighter gaps. The 85X cleared every level without a problem. Next, I ran a all-in-one test and printed the exact same model on both the 85X and my Bamboo X1C. Both were done with default settings and no filament calibrations, so keep in mind that they can still be improved especially for dimensional accuracy. At the first glance, the results are surprisingly clean. Both printers struggle with overhangs above 60 degrees. The X1C has a slight edge on top surface finish at steeper angles. For dimensional accuracy, the X-axis is nearly identical. X1C is a touch under, 85X is a touch over. On the Y-axis, both overshoot slightly, though the X1C is a bit closer to the spec. These are tiny differences that proper calibration would easily fix. Support tests were almost the same, but the 85X support actually came off a little easier. And for the longest bridge sections, both printers performed identically. At this price, this printer definitely gets a pass. 